Hey everyone, welcome back. So I have a question for you. Do you ever get the feeling that something is too good to be true? Maybe just a little bit too perfect or a little bit too innocent to be trusted? That is exactly what we're talking about today. Meet Wally. He's one of the main characters in a television show called Welcome Home, a seemingly innocent TV series that has been lost to time. But thanks to the Welcome Home Restoration Project, or a group of anonymous people dedicated to compiling, restoring, and archiving what few remnants of Welcome Home can be recovered, thanks to them, it is being documented and restored. Well, okay, I'm not being completely honest with you. Despite what the Welcome Home website might have you believe, uh, this was actually never a real children's show at all. Welcome Home is an ARG, or an alternate reality game, that takes place all on the Welcome Home website, which holds secrets that range from hidden text, to hidden codes, to even pretty disturbing audio and video files that will lead to uncovering the true story of the Welcome Home universe. And that is what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's dive in and expose the secrets of Welcome Home. So as I mentioned before, the Welcome Home project has described Welcome Home as a lost puppet show where all of the characters in the show would interact with each other and kind of learn like very simple surface level lessons along the way. Kind of similar to Sesame Street. But for those of you who are new to the Welcome Home series, let's start with a little Meet the Cat segment. So first of all, we have Wally, who is the main character of the show. He's the happiest, friendliest, basically just the funniest and most charismatic out of the cast. Or that's what he wants you to think, at least. Uh, next, we have Eddie, who is a clumsy but lovable mailman. Poppy, who is a kind of like frazzled, uh, anxious bird character, so kind of similar to Big Bird. Sally, who is the most energetic in the cast. Julie, who is the happiest puppet and also Frank's best friend. Frank, who is, funny enough, the grumpiest character, and also kind of like a buckworm type. Barnaby, who is a goofy blue dog and also Wally's best friend. And Howdy, the shopkeeper. But there is one more character that I didn't mention. Home. Home is the ninth neighbor, despite not speaking, um, but Home is very much alive. I mean, you can tell by the fact that Home literally has eyes that kind of watch over the whole neighborhood. We'll get to that later. So now that we're familiar with the cast, now we can start to get into the weird side of things. Our journey starts on the FAQ page, where everything seems innocent enough until you highlight this space at the end of the second question on the page, where a hidden message reveals itself. But it hurts, making the sentence, we are thankful to be the first to jumpstart this journey, but it hurt. And to me, this seems to be someone kind of secretly speaking to us through the cheery, like, exterior of the page. But that's not all. Not even close. As we scroll down slightly, we see this kind of weird, like, jumbled mess of text under the question, why did you make this website? And once again, when we highlight this unintelligible bit of text, we get the message, I am not the first letter. I felt it. I heard it. Open. 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 Are the creators of this website really in control here? Or is something making them continue the restoration project? A spirit? A curse? Possibly something even worse? Is the same entity inside of us now that we've viewed the website? Uh, maybe so, according to the last sentence in the paragraph being It means it is inside of you too then. With another hidden message being Does it hurt? Now there is one more secret hidden on the frequently asked questions page which comes from the question, do you know how many episodes of Welcome Home there are? Where someone from the team answers no, essentially, but secretly at the end of the message, we get a final hidden message. The numbers are hard to read. Sometimes I can't see them. Uh, now what does this mean? I feel like this could mean maybe there's just too many episodes of Welcome Home to count. There's a lot of theories on what most of these hidden messages mean. I feel like it's not that simple though. I feel like there's a deeper meaning to the numbers. Possibly something that we'll find out just with time. Let's move on to the neighborhood itself. And this is where things start to get really, really weird. Now the first thing that you'll see on the neighborhood page is this text that reads, Home is where the heart is, and Welcome Home's residents are the heart of the neighborhood. Even if you don't live here, you're still one of its most important citizens. But don't worry, with the help of this colorful array of neighbors, it'll feel just like home in no time at all. Now, through people just kind of messing around on the website and um, digging a little bit deeper into it, it was found that if you click on the word you and your, a little bio comes up for you. And the only thing that is 
apparently known about you is that Wally is your friend. Mm, we'll see about that. Um, but yes, yeah, speaking of bios, we see that you can click on each house in the neighborhood to see who lives there and get a little bit more information about them. Uh, a strange side note that, that I just saw through doing research for this video is that all of the neighbors bios talk about them in the past tense except for Wally who's the only character who has a uh, bio information in the present tense like they'll say uh, Eddie was or uh, Barnaby was this which is clearly intentional and very strange but we already covered all of the characters let's go back to looking at home a little bit more um it was discovered through hitting tab which shows you all of the clickable spaces on a website that there is a hidden space beneath home um, instead of getting information about home, we are actually redirected to this website called So Below, where we see this image. Crazy, right? Uh, we see what appears to be Wally worshipping home in a really weird, like disturbing and distorted art style. Now, we know that home is a living, breathing thing. So does this mean that Wally's not really the one in control here? Is home the one that we should really be afraid of? We have yet to find out. So now we're moving on to the guestbook page. The guestbook tab is actually very interesting. It's a tab on the website where you can actually leave a dedicated message to the website itself, which I think is very cool. Um, the strange part comes when you notice that some of the messages have childlike crayon drawings over them. Uh, for example, like a rainbow, a flower, a smiley face, even there's even a ladybug, anything like that. You know, nothing out of the ordinary for the general like vibe of the website, right? Um, it gets even stranger though, when you realize that you can actually open the drawings in a new tab as an image, and you will get messages that seem to be responding to the posts in the tab bar at the top of the website. Um, now let me show you, to give you an example. Now let's take a look at this message with a heart on it that says wally you are very handsome so now when you right click on the heart and open it in a new tab at the top it says thank you now that could be a coincidence maybe right uh, let's try another this post simply just says hi with a smiley face and when we open it in a new tab once again it reads hello why are you smiling this way i'll keep you company neighbor <laughs> or maybe this post that reads hey wally I hope you're cool and not super evil, that'd be a real bummer. And Wally's reply in the tab reads, you don't like me neighbor? <laughs> He's, so we know that it is Wally responding to these posts secretly and like trying to break through the website almost. Now there's something that I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, throughout the whole website, there are letters on each page that are kind of like distorted or misplaced that are kind of explained away as a glitch on the website that the restoration team will come back and fix later. Uh, for example, this X or this W, there are six total letters that have been found kind of misplaced, being X, W, V, O, Y, and E. Now, it was actually discovered that if you put in these letters after the link of the website, which is www.clownillustration.com, you will be brought to various different secret links, each showing you a different part of the overall story. Um, the first combination is V-O-Y-W-E-X, which takes you to this link. Now, clearly we see Wally's eyes kind of like peering through the screen at us, and he seems to be hiding from something, but what? What could he possibly be hiding from? And why does he want us to keep quiet? It kind of makes me feel like maybe Wally is not the one to be afraid of. He almost seems to be like looking out for us a little bit. The next link, combination is YWXOEV. This combo takes us to a gif of all of the puppet's eyes kind of spinning rapidly over an image of home with the word open under it. The gif eventually stops and lands on Wally's eyes once again, kind of confirming that Wally and home have a deeper connection than we realize. Uh, next up, we have WOXYVE. This is an interesting one. This takes us to a kind of like jumbled mess of what appears to be a script for the show it seems to be pretty much unintelligible until you realize that you can open the clip of the script at the very back which shows you a clear image of what a script of the show would have looked like which i think is very cool to see now these two last links are where it starts to get super interesting 
Next up we have ELVWXY. So this brings us to a video where we see a recording of static on a TV. Uh, and it's not just any basic, you know, footage of static from a TV. This is like filmed from a handheld camera, almost like home footage style, almost as if someone's trying to see something through the static. And actually after a few rewatches and <laughs> me thinking I was just going crazy, I did see something. There actually is a pair of eyes that appear to be Wally's that can be seen for a split second through the static. If you missed it, I'll replay it here for you now. It happens right before the camera zooms in, almost as if to get a better look at what they had just seen. Now for the final link, YXWVOE, this takes you to an error page, which reads, Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Looks, looks like, like you wandered, 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 wandered too, too far, far away, away from, from home. home. Head, Head back, back. Return, return home, and stay, 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 stay. Now, if you click on the link at the bottom, it does just take you back to the home page. But if you click on the phone, you are greeted with this absolutely beautiful performance. <laughs> Now this is an audio recording of Wally singing a song called Beautiful Dreamer. Um, but who is he singing to? He is actually singing to home. Now we can tell this because if you listen closely at the end of the recording, right after he stops singing, Wally laughs and says, I don't know the other words. That's all Barnaby taught me. Did you like it? Followed by the sounds of a door opening and closing three times, which could be none other than home actually responding to Wally. Wally then follows up with, that's good, I think, and the recording ends. Um, this is by far one of the most important discoveries that people have made about Welcome Home th so far for many reasons. For one, this is the very first and only time that we have a recording of Wally's voice. For two, it confirms that home is not really fully understood by Wally, and it seems like Wally's just kind of trying to please home. Which brings up the question, is home evil? I am gonna say yes, mo most likely. Is Wally evil, or did home force Wally to do something evil? Possibly. I, I think that's possible. Remember the fact that all of the other characters bios from the neighborhood were in the past tense, except for Wally, uh, coupled with the image of Wally worshipping home, with even like blood coming out from around home's eye, uh, it doesn't paint a good picture for, for, for Wally. Now did he kill all of the other characters on the show? Um, for now, only time will tell. Now unfortunately those are all the secrets that we have discovered so far about Welcome Home. This is a super interesting series. I'm actually so excited to find any more little discoveries that come up in the future about it because I feel like it's so well made and there's so many interesting characters and the story itself is just so, it goes so deep. Probably much deeper than we realized so far. But yeah, I'm excited to see. I'm excited to give you guys some more updates too. But until then, if you enjoyed the video, always remember to leave a comment down below, a like, maybe a subscription. But yeah, hey, I will see you all next time.